Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. We're about to head into the Infinite Mushroom Comics. We're really excited. It's out in Titusville, which isn't too far from home. We haven't been here before, but we did meet the owner and his wife. They were really nice at the Daytona Comic Con. So we decided to come here, check out their shop, see what it's all about, and we're really excited to check out a new shop that we've never been to before. We're gonna be doing our $100 challenge today. Angelo has $50, I have $50. So at the end of the video, we will see who got the better deal. It has been raining all day, so it is a little cloudy out. Hopefully we can make it in before it starts downpouring. Ooh, dun, dun. Got a lot of comics over here. Very cool. How are you doing? Good, Good to you. see you again. Yeah, the convention was fun, wasn't it? Tom blew it out of the water. It was, I think, one of his best conventions we've ever done. That's awesome. Yeah, we had a really, really good time. So what are you kids up to today? Figured we'd come by, check well, out what you guys got going on over here. We're starting to press books, so. Playing oh, with nice. That, playing with that a little bit. Yeah, oh, wow. but we need a humidity chamber, and I don't know if I'm going to put books that we want to sell in here for 12 hours though i mm -hmm. it, it that may take forever but well, it's like the spider-man collection i just bought it was a really cool silver age thing we got it's really mm -hmm. cool but if you look at this stuff i just want to cry sometimes because people do not put stuff in like it, it's, it's oh, all yeah. just in a box right now without any bags of boards on oh this is such a great key it's like all this first first marauders and all these people and it's like oh and these, all these big rolls on this thing. So we've got to do a little bit of work on these bad boys. People don't realize that, you know, minor keys need love too. Mm -hmm. Okay, my, minor keys need love. Here's another one. I don't know if y'all saw this or not, but we just finally, we finally got the comics back on the wall from last weekend. When you have a back like mine, I don't go up on a ladder anymore. The 268, mm -hmm. that is one of the most iconic covers ever. Now, that's a Jim Lee cover, and it's only a $20 book. Early juggernaut appearance. I know, right? Yeah, yeah that's a cool one. But you'll have a good time at the convention? Yeah, picked up some good stuff. Did yeah. you? Yeah, there were so many comic book dealers and vendors there. With Brenda and I, we're not 35 anymore. So we're <laughs> we're just, you know, kind of you know, taking what we could take. But we've got like this plus upstairs and in the back. Oh, you have an upstairs too? Yeah, it's not open yet, um, but there's a, uh, what do you call it, a stairwell right over, uh, over there. And we're moving the tables upstairs so we can bring more retail in. Oh. Do you guys do a lot of like card games and stuff oh, over yeah. here on these? Yeah, yeah we have we have a pretty, pretty decent sized magic community here. Yeah, our commander league is pretty good too. We had, I think 14 here last night. But is this location better for you than um, the one that you had over in the mall area? Okay, so I missed the mall. I was born and raised in Titusville and I have a big affinity for that mall. The problem with the mall is, and they're thinking about tearing it down, mm -hmm. is that it's built back in the f late 50s. I had six leaks in that store. Oh wow. Wherever we were going to move the register to, there was a leak. And when you're dealing with paper, you just don't want leaks like that. So when this opened up, we have, we decided let's get downtown. Don't have any place to put this right now. We can't get in the back because the back is just stacked with comics. Yeah. So over COVID, we did take in a lot of collections. I mean, tens of thousands of books. We helped a lot of folks out, but our eyes got bigger than our space, basically. And we had to start putting collections out here, not priced and bagged and boarded. And it's not, I don't like doing that. But we ran out of space. Our Spider-Man collection is quite massive. I mean, we have got a lot of Spider-Man. We got a lot of X-Men. We have a lot of Avengers, a lot of Batman too. You got some really nice books up on the yeah, wall. Yeah, we got some nice stuff. And we got, the, we got the, the power ladies up there too. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, with, starting with uh, uh, Leia, then the She-Hulks, Gwen Stacy, and below that we got Spider-Woman, and you know, Jane Foster. The Marvel Spotlight yeah. for Spider-Woman. Some nice Batman nice here too, yeah. I was a big DC advocate up until they left Diamond in the middle of COVID. DC was so involved with retailers. And then AT&T goes and buys them. And they don't know how to run a publishing company. They fire everybody that we knew. And now you can't even talk to anybody. Death of Kangaroo. Yeah, these are some cool ASMs. Got some Uncanny. 230. Got 231. Some nice consecutive issues. Some duplicates. Oh, that's cool. First Jim Lee on X-Men. $248. First $20. On that one. That's a nice one, too. Yeah, that one's a nice Sylvester cover. I think that's her new costume. This is a nice X-Men box too. Yeah, you got lots of good X-Men in here. The Marvel Comics Presents in here. Sam Keith. Yeah, some awesome Wolverine covers. That one's cool. Some going off the cliff. Marvel Team Up number one. That's a super cool one. And then you got Moon Knight. Issue 57. Plat cover. Got some World's Finest. Pretty nice condition on those. Oh, look at that. The Secret Avengers. That's the um, first Agent Venom. 
But that's the second print, I think. What is he asking for that purple man? That's cool. That's um, the first appearance of purple man. 160, I think it says. It's issue four of Daredevil. That's cool. Yeah, that one's really early. I do need you that for the collection. <laughs> <laughs> We bought a collection that was just massive Thor. This is all Thor book. Oh, wow. I mean, this, this is some early stuff. I mean, 120. I love these reprints. They don't reprint these much. Oh, man. Superboy. I tell you, if you guys like horror, some of the best horror out right now. Death of Iris West. That's a, that needs to be on the wall. Here's another. This is look at the price. Yeah, huge key. Yeah, first variety kid. This is beat up to hell. But look at that's, that's Green Lantern 14. So how often would you say you get collections in? Daily. I had a guy. I had a guy bringing me back 21 short boxes next week. Right. My biggest collection I bought was a 55 box box like collection. Oh, we just had the room store and to get them out. I mean, I'm the only one who does the pricing and going through them and stuff. So it's like it takes me, you know, hours to go through this stuff. Yeah. So it's just me. So it's hard to do. We're starting to use social media because of y'all a lot more and um we, you know, we have our YouTube channel and we also have a radio station at the shop and that's oh, something that's that I've always done. I love doing web-based radio. I have since it started back in the 90s and we I've missed part of other radio stations and we have a stream, a streaming on our website but I had to hook my, you know, my broadcasters hooked up. I just have to start broadcasting again. My wife's a writer so we're going to put a writing area for her for her mm -hmm. up there too. So it's going to be, I cannot wait to get the upstairs going. Oh, Miles Morales, all new Spider-Man issue 8. What are you $8? For $4. How much for that yeah, one? Consecutive. Um... Four bucks. I'm not sure. It doesn't say. Let me put it to the side. Looks like there's a good amount of miles in here. Oh, well, this one's kind of cool. 16. 15. Yeah, there's a bunch of miles in there. Mandy issue one. Oh, that's cool. These Ghost Riders are cool. Yeah, the Ghost Riders are nice in there. Issue 53. Oh, these are nice for five bucks. Four dollars. Solid copies, too. Oh, there you go. Ghost Rider one. Oh, second print. On the first cable, Wolverine. Oh, some Fantastic Four. Oh, that's a killer one right there for 20 bucks with Doctor Doom. That is sick. Oh, huh, maybe that'll be my pickup. There you go. But that Secret Avengers for 60 is really cool. First appearance of Bishop on 282. And then I found two copies of the McFarlane cover on Spider Man issue 13. And then I think I'm going to grab that Secret Avengers second printing variant that's on the wall, and that'll be my pickup for the day. So, let's hope I won't kill myself getting it. That X-Men up there is really nice. I got a $60 price tag on that one. Uncanny 142 for 60 bucks. Okay, I'll see you in one. Have a lovely day, y'all. You too. First purple man. <laughs> yeah, that's a really yeah, nice one nice, too. Yeah. High grade, that book costs pretty penny. Yeah, it's very expensive. It just kind of cracks me up though. Thank purple. you. How do they, they come up with these names? I don't know, let's call this guy Purple Man. <laughs> <laughs> really nice copy too, near mint. Oh, this book right here. I have a buddy of mine. He actually has a piece of original art that was in that book. It actually was made into a t-shirt. Uh, there they are. That's a nice one. Here, I'll get, here you go. Days of Future Past storyline, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've actually been looking for this one for a little bit. Nice copy too. It's a good cover. We got Uncanny X-Men 142 and the Secret Avengers second printing variant. So let us know who you thought got the cooler pickup. Thanks for coming by. And if y'all are ever in Titusville, we're in downtown. Come by and see us. Titusville's a hidden gem. You're gonna love it. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. Got our books ready to head out. Hopefully it's not pouring too bad before we make it to the car. But hope everyone enjoyed the video. Checking out this new comic shop. It's drizzling, so we're gonna put the camera away for now. If you're in the Titusville area, make sure you definitely come check out Infinite Mushroom Comics. Great shop. Definitely come check it out. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.